Go for it then. We're gonna put you in front of this one. Uh, you got you can't let them overtake you at any point. So defend first place. Five laps around Richmond. Is it? Gonna put us into the red. No. So probably the idea is to try and not let let them get in your draft all the time maybe i don't mind waiting for that starting area and them jets going over right so he's in my draft let's get him out of the draft For those of you that are new to this, and there's going to be some of you who are new, on the speed there, or in my case because I've been hooked on the top right, if that's in yellow, then that means you're in the draft of the car in front, or they're in your draft, or slipstream if you like. So when it's, so if, the, if they are behind you in, and that goes yellow, then you want to move your lines. So if we go along here and that went yellow, that meant the car was behind me, I would move over there. So he's then not in my slipstream. That's basically what it's about. Because you're in each other's slipstream, or draft as they call it in this NASCAR, then um, the aerodynamics sort of makes both cars go faster, apparently. Probably does in real life, but it's not very well related to the game, I don't think. I'll have a trip right on the outside, I think. No good over here, is it? Driving on the wrong side of the road for me, that's the trouble. It all seems a bit weird. Oh, don't ever let me in America, whatever you do. I'll smash the thing up. Now over here, Seems much more normal. Well, that couldn't have been any easier, could it? Where are they? 400 behind me. Start off well is all that matters here, I think. Probably if you haven't got many upgrades, it might be a bit more difficult. When I first did this NASCAR on the ones last year, I struggled really badly. At least I've got a clue what it's about now. I'm no good at it, but at least I know the principle of it. <laughs> 